If overthinking, stress, or sleeplessness are becoming too much, try listening to a guided meditation for free on the Women's Meditation Network. There are a dozen podcasts that provide hundreds of guided meditations each month, like sleep meditations, morning meditations, daily affirmations, meditations for anxiety, and even water and nature sounds. Just search for Women's Meditation Network in your favorite podcast player and subscribe to listen now. This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 890, Three Steps Leaders Need to Take to Break Out of Crisis Management Mode, by Julie Morgenstern of juliemorgenstern.com. And welcome to the Thursday edition of Optimal Startup Daily. My name is Dan, and I'm your host and narrator here. I'm with you every single day reading to you from these great blogs on business and entrepreneurship. So without any further ado, let's get right into our post for today as we optimize your life. Three Steps Leaders Need to Take to Break Out of Crisis Management Mode by Julie Morgenstern of juliemorgenstern.com In the uncertain times brought about by the pandemic, it became very easy to fall into a habit of reactivity. Adapting to the rapidly changing structure of work caused many of us to get stuck in crisis management mode. Whether it's responding to emails or requests, there has been a constant sense of urgency for many leaders. Unfortunately, this constant pressure to always react quickly within every element of our work life is exhausting. The rapidly evolving workforce can be stressful to navigate, but it doesn't need to be. If we take the time to slow down and shift our focus away from reactivity, we can redirect our energy towards proactivity. These three steps will help you take back control of your life, break the habit of being stuck in crisis management mode, and help you move forward as a leader. Leaders need to give themselves time to think. Constantly reacting to the world around us gives us no time to breathe. Instead of planning the day ahead, many of us feel the need to respond to demands as they come. This tiring habit takes control of your life and makes it impossible to focus on your goals as a leader. Instead, it's essential to give yourself time to think. Block out part of the day to create a plan. Even if you just sit for one hour in the morning to strategize the best way to handle your responsibilities, you can regain a sense of command over your life. It's equally important that you schedule this hour of planning every day. No matter what your job is, taking the time to strategize new ways to innovate and improve on your work will help you become more productive. Instead of reacting to everything at once, you can think about your deadlines and strategize the best process to meet them. Proactively scheduling your day will help you start to move away from crisis management mode. Strategize key leadership relationships. Communication is key, and it's critical to take the time to focus on important relationships in the workplace. Spend time at the end of the day to think about who your colleagues are and how you can best communicate with them to discuss important projects. This strategic delegation time is an essential part of working with a team to achieve goals. By knowing who you're working with on a project, you can effectively plan how to share the assignments. Communicating with your team members about task delegation is fundamental to being a good leader and making sure everyone is on the same page. Strategic delegation is especially important in remote work situations. Networking beyond the office is crucial when your team is spread out across many locations. To break out of crisis management mode, we need to take time every day to strategically think about who we need to communicate with and how to delegate effectively. Leaders need time off. Even if you take time to plan your work days and communicate with your colleagues, you can't fully break out of crisis management mode unless you plan time off. Even when the workday is done, another email may come through. Without taking time to concretely plan your downtime, it may be tempting to instantly react to the new demand. To avoid getting burned out from working all hours of the night, it's important that you don't neglect your personal life. Take some time back to plan things you want to do in your downtime. You can plan time for the evenings or on weekends, but having that time set aside is important to keep you recharged for work. It's important not to leave that time in a void either. Whether it's listening to music or spending time with your kids, having a concrete plan of activities will help you ensure you enjoy your time off. Without knowing what you want to do, it opens the door to re-enter crisis mode the moment an email from work pops up. Break the habit. Actively taking the time back to think, delegate with colleagues, and plan time off will help end the exhausting cycle of reactivity. As we continue to adapt to the changing world and workforce, 
it's important to keep these time management tips in mind. Instead of continuing to live in crisis mode, we can enter a strategic and proactive building mode. You just listened to the post titled Three Steps Leaders Need to Take to Break Out of Crisis Management Mode by Julie Morgenstern of juliemorgenstern.com. The thing about running your own business is every single hire counts. But finding great talent doesn't have to be a second job. You can reclaim your time and find top talent fast with Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform helping over 3 million businesses worldwide to do it all. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates. Over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates the moment they sponsor a job. I especially love Indeed's instant match feature because candidates you invite to apply through Instant Match are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search, according to US Indeed data. Indeed knows when you're growing your own business, you have to make every dollar count. That's why with Indeed, you only pay for quality applications that match your must-have job requirements. Visit indeed.com startup to start hiring now. Just go to indeed.com startup, indeed.com startup. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. Need to hire? You need Indeed. If your business earns millions or tens of millions in revenue, stop what you're doing and take a listen because NetSuite by Oracle has just rolled out the best offer we've ever seen. For the first time in NetSuite's 22 years as the number one cloud financial system, you can defer payments of a full NetSuite implementation for six months. That's no payment and no interest for six months. 33,000 companies have already upgraded to NetSuite, and it's number one because they give your business everything you need in real time, all in one place. And the confidence that comes with having all of your information in one place really helps to streamline decisions, saving you time, money, and energy, all thanks to NetSuite's amazing offer. If you've been sizing up NetSuite to make the switch, then you know this deal is unprecedented. No interest, no payments. Take advantage of this special financing offer at NetSuite dot com slash startup netsuite.com slash startup to get the visibility and control you need to weather any storm netsuite.com slash startup and thank you so much to julie for this article julie morgenstern is an organizing and productivity consultant new york times best-selling author and speaker for over 25 years julie has been teaching people all around the world and at all stages of life how to overcome disorganization to achieve their goals she is the inventor of the inside-out approach to organization and the brain behind their services. And she has a bunch of great articles and much, much more on her website, juliemorgenstern.com. So please check that out. And a big thanks to Julie for letting us share her work today. But that is gonna do it for this episode. I thank you for listening and for being with me each and every day. I really appreciate it. And I will see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.